Thank you for tuning in to The Philip Scott Show. My name is Danielle DeVita. I speak about all things dating, femininity, marriage, relationships in general. So I wanted to talk a little bit today about this video that I saw. So I'm going to go ahead and roll that clip and I'll provide my commentary. Why good men if don't say, marry why, girlfriends? I'll be doing more of those things. So what you're saying is I have to marry you, make you, make you my wife in order for you to start doing wife things. I mean, I'm just a girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> okay. Shrika, do you want to marry me? Yes. Why? Because you, you a provider, a protector. You watch out for me. I love you. Why would I not want to marry you? I appreciate that. And I love you too. So what you're saying to me is, those are the things you want your husband to do. Yes. So you see your husband in me. Yes, exactly. Okay, okay, okay. So the things I'm doing right now, even though I'm not your husband, you want your husband to do. And the crazy thing is, that's just who I am. Not because this is what I, I feel like I have to do. I do it because that's who Jeremy is. I'm already a husband. I'm just not your husband yet. So and listening to this clip, I do agree with the man. I believe that there are some caveats to that. So I wanted to go ahead and explain that. Whenever you're dating someone, you should not want to be the best version of yourself after you've gotten in a relationship. The goal is to be the best version of yourself so you can attract other people who are at their best as well. So if you say that you want a man um, who is, a you know, you want to marry, you want to have a husband who's a great provider, you are going to look for those qualities in the person that you're dating. All right. So you're going to look for a man who is financial, financially stable, financially savvy and show and he's providing on his own. So it shows that he would be a great provider as a husband. As a woman, you want to show that you are loving and you are nurturing and you are kind and you are feminine and that you care about how you look. All of these things are great qualities for um, a wife and a mother. So. Um, you can still show characteristics and show ways in, in how you present yourself that you would be a great person to marry or a great mother. So you don't necessarily have to have children to actually be nurturing. Oh, I'll be nurturing when I have children. No, you will be nurturing. And through that quality, people can say, oh, this will, she would be a great mother. So when see people say, you know, don't provide husband and wife benefits, at least when I say that, I mean, if you are a man, it's nothing wrong with showing that you're financially savvy and that you're financially stable, but you don't have to be giving her your entire wallet. That's something a husband should do. Paying her rent is not something a boyfriend should have to do. Playing daddy to, um, and you're not married to this woman yet, playing daddy to her child, not yours, is not what you would do because you're not her husband yet. So you're not the actual stepdad. So you can show characteristics that you will be a great father and how you speak to her, how you get along with the child, how you communicate. Those are things that you can show that you will be a great stepdad, but you don't have to step into that role, giving her that benefit now of playing stepdad, being, giving her your the ability um, that you are a great provider by pr providing all of her financial needs now. Same thing for a woman. You can show that you will be a great wife by being feminine, by being loving, and all of those things, and of course, setting boundaries and, and things like that without giving wife benefits, which means giving your womb. That's something a wife should do. Only a wife should give her womb, her body, her access to a man, you know, to a man. Only a wife should, which means that means that needs to be your husband. You don't give those benefits as a girlfriend, you give them as a husband, but and cooking and cleaning for him. Not to say you can't cook a meal for him or help him with some things, but cooking for him every night, um, giving him access to your body, giving him your womb, which means having children with this man, and he's not yet your husband. Those are benefits that you do not give. Those are things that you do not provide to a man who is not your husband. But there are things that you can show through your characteristics how you are as a woman, how you communicate, how peaceful you are, how loving you are. You keep a clean home. You can prepare a meal or two. I'm not saying you have to be a great chef, you know, chef 40 or anything, but you can do something. 
if need be. Because if you're going to have children, you should at least know how to do something. Even if it's spaghetti, even if it's salad, even if it's peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But you can't go out all the time. You may be in a predicament where you can't go out. So having the nurturing spirit, knowing uh, how to be resourceful in the kitchen in some way, um, um, hygienic. So not to say you have to be a maid, but you need to be able to clean your home. That's hygienic, okay? That's not being a slave or a maid. It's your home. So if he walks in your home and you can't keep your home clean, then he may think, well, when we have a home together, you won't be able to do that. And the kids won't be clean. So uh, a lot of times we, we, we use the term, you know, not providing benefits, but that's not what that means. So with this guy, he's showing the benefits that he could be a great husband. You have to show the benefits as well. A lot of times we hear women say, I'll be feminine when... You know, I'll be respectful when people earn it, when I'll, I'll do this. No, do these things now because that's part of being the best version of yourself. You be the best version of yourself no matter if others around you are not being the best version of yourself. The only difference is you decide those who are not going to be the best version of themselves, those are the ones you do not entertain. But if you are being the best version of yourself, surely you attract those around you who are trying to be the best version of themselves. And then, of course, when their hiccups come, then you do crossroads, you know, and then you get basically get out of those relationships that are going to um, not elevate you and, and, and uh, put you on the level that you want to be on. So with that being said, she should, she should be showing benefits to prove that she would be a great wife. That doesn't mean that you put out because again, those are wife benefits that he should not get. All right, so that's all I have for you. I will be having videos, more videos coming soon. So thanks again for tuning in to The Philip Scott Show. I am Danielle Tavida. Take care.